We're going to be installing the shunt trip on this two pole HFD breaker. Um, first thing you're going to do is take off this cover screws. There's six of them. Four in each corner. There's one in each recess in the top and bottom. So we'll take those out. cover. We're going to take this piece off, set it to the side. At this point we're going to close the breaker and then we're going to install the insulator that is to be installed with the shunt tray. It goes right behind this line here. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to install the shunt trip itself. First off, you're going to feed these wires down through these side spots. Okay, I'm going to make sure the insulator is still in there and then we're going to install the shunt trip right on top. Okay, and then feed the rest of the wiring through. At this point, we will test the shunt trip by hooking up to a power source and we'll ensure that it trips the breaker. There we go. We'll apply power a few more times to make sure the cutoff switch is working properly. It is. Disconnect power. We will reinstall or well, we'll reset the breaker. Reinstall this piece. We'll go ahead and close up the cover. Again, it's four corner screws and two more in the middle recesses. There we go. We will close the breaker again and apply power one more time to the shunt trip to make sure it's working properly with the cover installed. And it is. Excellent. So that's how you install a shunt trip in an HFD two-pole breaker.